Alright, hello everyone, and welcome to today's video of uh, Mario Kart 8. Still continuing on the battle mode. Today we're doing uh, Bob Bomb Blast, and uh, it's basically just standard balloon battle, but now there are like millions of bombs everywhere. Every item box is a guaranteed bomb, and you can stack like up to 10 of them, which is really cool, so. Yeah, so, um, first I'm going to go around and, god damn it, okay. That's what you get, you dumb baby bitch. You dumb baby back ribs looking... Oh yeah, this is very much just like a minefield game. It's good to make sure you have like lots of bombs on hand at all times, so you can do stuff like that, just like... You know, like, as people drive by, just like, smoke them. Like, 10, 20 bombs at a time. Oh yay. God damn it. I bet I at least I'm pretty sure I at least got a hit on Peach there. Damn it. Just I was hoping I got a hit. Although this, that basketball court was not there in the 3DS original Woohoo Island. Or Yoohoo Square, whatever this is. At least I also hit Rosalina, so it works out anyway. Alright, I remember um, Bob Bomb Blast being a lot more fun than it is right now, but oh well. Uh, Luigi's Mansion, oh man, I was about to say, if I get a top spawn, that would be very good. Because I just have to drive around and drop bombs down in the middle. Whoa, hey! I want more before I go up top, but... I don't like drifting in this. Alright, so I'm gonna have to like go. Damn it. I'm gonna have to go like closer to the edge if I wanna have the bombs landed and not just like fall. And surprisingly, I think Nintendo thought about campers when designing this map because not a lot of bomb spawn. Yeah, that's not really as good as a strategy as I thought it might be. I like the I pit baby peach apparently. Yeah, I got cat peach. So you'd think it'd be a lot easier to hit people when the bombs are like the only item and they blow up a lot faster in this round too, in this uh, game mode too. But surprisingly, no, it's. I feel like it's harder to hit people now. 
you know, because before you could just... I mean, even then, you can just recreate the bomb blast all you want just by setting that to be the only item. And especially items. Just the only thing is you can only hold up to two. So is this really all that different? Okay, well, at least I hit someone. Okay, good. Got baby Mario. What? Okay. Getting caught in the bomb blast without any bombs on you is like getting caught with your pants between your legs. Or getting caught with your pants down around your legs or... Something similar to that. Damn it. Please don't... Uh... I hate how they take away balloons whenever you die. It's like they're your respawn or something. I prefer an older and especially like um, Mario Kart DS, how you just. and some of the others where you either. once you died, that was it, it was over. You could either. Spe you know, if you're playing by yourself, you just spectate it and. Um, I also much more prefer prefer when it was, um, if you die, you become a ghost, and you can, like, and can, like, drive around and take people out, and it would help count towards your score and all that. Just in general, I remember, I, I, I forget exactly what it was as a ghost. I don't know if it counted towards your score as hitting people or not, but, I don't know, I just remember... When you were a ghost, it was a lot more fun that way. But Bomb Blast is actually kind of boring. That, especially after what I would consider such a exciting game like Renegade Roundup. The Bomb Blast just kind of feels sort of been they done that. Especially after standard balloon battle. Can continue to build up bombs that we can drop just people. All I really had to do was just drop bombs behind her, and I probably would have ran into them. Really hit no one. And I gotta start paying attention to that mini map more. Oh, you dumb bitch. Cool, I committed a hate crime against the women. I hit a woman. Come on! Really? We couldn't hit anyone there? Not a single person? 
That sucked. Oh, it's only round five. It feels like it's round seven. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest, but Long Blast is not fun. I remember liking it more. I was gonna like starting to get burnt out on Myocardite from all this back and back back to back with it. Like you guys, you get this like once a day and I'm sure you guys are like trying to think, okay, you know, when are you going to do something else? But for me, no, this is literally, for me it's like five, it's like five videos all in one, all in the period of one hour. And so I did learn, apparently you throw your bombs farther the uh, more you hold the bunnet down. There's something I learned from all of this. So now I'm curious, does that apply to all items or is it just bombs? Really, I fucking hit nobody this whole damn round. Okay, there we go. I, I hit somebody. There we go. That at least counts for something, right? Okay. Hey there, friend. Please ignore me in my existence. There's this entire middle section I've been forgetting about. to go. Christ. What I liked about doing the cup videos is I could get like five of those done in an hour. These battle mode videos, like, I feel like a minute wouldn't give it enough time to actually sit down and play the map. In two minutes this feels like it goes on forever because I'm spending the full nearly 30 minutes just for one, just to, you know, play through all the maps on one mode, so it feels like I'm not getting that much variety since, again, there are only eight fucking maps. And I'm not complaining, mind you, I just am saying words. That sounds like complaining. I've hit Baby Daisy apparently, which I don't know what the Mario laws on child abuse is, but they must be pretty okay with blowing up babies, because I don't seem to be having the cops after me. Now how is it computers can just instantly perfectly throw a bomb and ruin your whole day? Second, like I try to throw a bomb, nothing happens. Hey there, friend. Yeah, d damn you. Ugh. What? Well, that's just not fair. Hey, Bowser! Damn it. Nah, fuck. Got hit by Bowser twice. Go. If I remember correctly, 
Mario Kart on the Wii U even did battle mode better when it came to the balloons. Because if I remember correctly on that one, I'm pretty sure once you lost your balloons, you were dead. That or you turned into a ghost. I don't know, it was one of the two and I forget, but I'm not booting up that version of Mario Kart just to see what the battle mode did whenever you died. Uh, if people want me to, I might go and do that battle mode, just in like a video or two, or just like a singular video, just to show off everything. Alright, where's the victim? You there! Snipe! Let's reload. And you there, kind child baby! Alright, and back to killing! This job must not pay. I have no more bombs, so now I need to drive around and get some. Before I get absolutely clapped by the computers. Hey there, Bowser. Don't demand me. Is me, Chris Pratt. About four years when it, about however long it would take for the Mario movie to come out, and I absolutely hates it because his voice acting is absolutely shit, and there's nothing he can do about it because they want well, it's a fucking elimination. Why would they care? They only care about taking your money. Lunar Colony is probably the worst map in the entire game. Or at least the worst battle mode track. No, just the worst track in the entire game and period, including racing and battle mode. So I've got coin runners and shine things left. So yeah. Here soon we're gonna be done with Mario Kart 8 for quite a long time. That is until Nintendo decides to drop the next DLC waves. Which again the waves are supposed to be released also throughout 2023, so man I'm still I'm gonna be playing this game even in December, which is gonna suck. Because in December I wanna play other games. They should have like a tournament mode, the battle mode. And like you just go through the game and fight all the characters and really nothing. Yet another match where absolutely nothing happens for me despite dropping mad bombs everywhere. I got baby Mario, depending on who's looking at the map. I probably wouldn't even know who was there if I had it. That might be the key to winning. Just drop map. Just look at the map the whole time. There's crop dust people whenever they come up behind you. Is this the end? Yay, it's the end. Hooray. Oh no, I got bronze. Oh, I care so much.